Welcome to Science in Seconds. In this video, we'll be delving into the mysteries of the human brain, one of the most complex and fascinating organs in the human body. We'll be looking at the structure and function of the brain, and how it enables us to think, feel, and interact with the world around us. The human brain is a highly complex organ that weighs about 3 pounds and contains around 100 billion neurons. It is divided into three main parts, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and is responsible for conscious thought, reasoning, and voluntary movement. The cerebellum is located at the back of the brain and is responsible for balance, coordination, and fine motor control. The brainstem connects the brain to the spinal cord and controls essential functions such as breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. Within these three main parts, the brain is further divided into specialized regions that control specific functions. For example, the frontal lobe is responsible for decision-making and problem-solving, while the temporal lobe is responsible for language and memory. The parietal lobe controls spatial awareness and sensory perception, and the occipital lobe controls visual processing. The brain communicates through a complex network of neurons, which transmit electrical and chemical signals. Each neuron has a cell body, dendrites, and an axon. Dendrites receive signals from other neurons, while the axon transmits signals to other neurons or muscles. When a neuron receives a signal, it generates an electrical impulse that travels down the axon. At the end of the axon, the impulse triggers the release of neurotransmitters, which cross the synapse and bind to receptors on the next neuron, transmitting the signal. The brain has the ability to adapt and change in response to experience, a phenomenon known as brain plasticity. This means that the brain can reorganize neural connections and even generate new neurons in response to learning or injury. For example, studies have shown that London taxi drivers, who have to memorize a vast network of city streets, have larger hippocampi, the region of the brain responsible for spatial navigation and memory, than non-taxi drivers. Similarly, individuals who regularly engage in physical exercise have increased gray matter in the brain, particularly in regions associated with memory and executive function. Unfortunately, the brain is also vulnerable to a wide range of disorders that can impair its function. These can include neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and multiple sclerosis, as well as psychiatric disorders such as depression, anxiety, and schizophrenia. Research into these disorders is ongoing, and advances in neuroscience are enabling us to better understand their underlying causes and develop new treatments. So there you have it, a brief overview of the structure and function of the human brain. From neural communication to brain plasticity to the many disorders that can affect brain function, the brain is a complex and fascinating organ that continues to captivate scientists and researchers around the world. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Science in Seconds for more fascinating insights into the world of science.